So the first thing you're gonna to want to do, obviously after you hook on, is put the jack up here. Don't put it on the side so your tire tears it off. That's where the jack belongs, right there. Then to set your depth, you're gonna start with these. Um, the ground is fairly wet right now, so I'm I've got it set really shallow, but that will that will adjust the pitch of the tongue, which will then set your colders down deeper or up higher, depending on how deep you want to cut into the sod or whatever in your, you're in. If you're in really, really tilled ground, like loose ground, you want it all the way up because you don't want to set that deep. Along with setting the depth of your cutting wheel, uh, you can also set the depth of your opening discs by this adjustment right here. Right now, I'm, I'm barely opening the ground. That's all the play that I'm using. If you set it back here, then as that goes up, obviously the opening discs go deeper. So I'm on wet ground or fairly wet ground. So I'm just barely opening the ground up, just barely putting the seed in the ground. If I was doing a grain, I might go a little bit deeper, but that's it for now. To set the rate per acre, um, obviously it depends on the seed you're using. I'm using an alfalfa clover mix. And it depends, this, this chart is fairly basic, but it has for coated seed, uncoated seed, and then it has pounds per acre, and just follow the chart across. And then down here is your adjustment. Uh, the alphabet is backwards, but, uh, so remember that when you're doing it, you don't go the wrong direction. And then that, when you set this, all it does is change the opening of the inside piece as it slides back and forth. The same thing is true back here. Um, obviously I have a bigger chart. You have low range and high range. Um, the high range would be if you're really putting a lot of seed down. Uh, I've never used this one or the other one in high range. Um, I can do everything I need to do right in the low ranges. Um, to, to set your high and low range, that's right over here, to set your ranges, it is right here. There's a chart right here that shows low range, high range. All you do is pull that pin off, pull the thing off. You have to separate your chain. Pull that sprocket off, move it up to there, just reverse the two, and it shows the difference. Um, one other feature I'm going to show real quick is this right here. Instead of the, to keep the seed from settling, some drills have a, an auger or a, a shaft that'll spin. This one here has one that oscillates, so nothing can get wound up on it. It just back and forth, back and forth, just on this cam right here, and keeps anything from winding up on it. To calibrate exactly how much seed you're putting down, most of us are not fussy. Right inside there, this. can correct this but I think it's 110 turns equals a tenth of an acre and basically all you do is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I'm gonna quit with that because I'm not gonna dump all the seed on the ground and then you can take this Pick it up like that. And if you have a bowl or something, then you just tip it up and I'll dump it on the ground so you can see it. You just dump the seed into a bowl. And you weigh it. And that should be uh, 20 pounds to the acre of tall fescue. And also some clover. Alfalfa. So when you're done using the drill or if you're going down the road, uh, these locks here have to be in place. It's settled a little bit now because it's not running, but 
that has to be back all the way. Then you release the pressure on your tractor. That will keep it in the air before you can release your hoses. You can't unhook your hoses, hydraulic hoses, unless these locks are in. Um, and then you just flop them back down forward. They just flop them like that. There's one on each side. And, but those are definitely for travel or if you're going to park it somewhere so it doesn't settle down. The most important thing with this machine, or one of the most important things, is to clean the seed out of it when you're done. Uh, inside those little star rollers is what brings the seed around. If that seed sits in there for a couple days, even the dew in the air will make that seed sprout. If, it's, if there's any moisture at all, it will sprout, and when it sprouts, it is impossible to clean out. You have to get in there with a little tiny pick from the back here. You have to get in from the top. The easiest way to clean it out is with an air compressor and a blow gun and blow all the seed out of it. Vacuum out what you can, but then you still have to blow out every one of those pockets. A vacuum will not suck it out of there.